Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about flame sensor. A flame sensor is a device that can be used to detect presence of fire source or any other bright light sources. There are several ways to implement a flame sensor, but the module used in this project is an infrared radiation sensitive sensor. Detection angle of this module is about 60 degree. The flame spectrum is very sensitive. These type of sensors are used for short range fire detection and can be used to design DIY monitoring projects using an Arduino or Raspberry Pi. It can also be used as a standalone device. It can be used as a safety precaution to cut devices on or off. The device functions most accurately up to about 3 feet. This flame sensor module is very sensitive to IR wavelength at 700 nanometer to 1100 nanometer light. Let us have a look at the components in the module. The main component of the module is this photodiode which receives the infrared light from the fire and activates that module. Here are two capacitors, two registers. The heart of this module is a LM393 voltage comparator IC which takes the signal from the infrared light and compares it and sends the output to the digital and analog pin. Two LEDs are used in this module, one for the power source and one for the digital out. Here is a potentiometer. The value of this potentiometer is 10 kilo ohms and this potentiometer is used to adjust the sensitivity of this fire sensor module. That means if we turn the sensor anti-clockwise, the sensitivity of the module will decrease and if we turn it clockwise, the sensitivity of the module will increase. In this module, here are only three pins, but in the practical demonstration, we will show a module that has four pins. It has VCC pin that is 3 volt to 5.5 volt positive power supply, ground pin that is the negative power supply, and the output pin, DO pin, it is the digital output pin. But we will use this module in the practical demonstration where we have another pin that is the analog out pin, which will show the intensity of the infrared light also. Here is the circuit diagram. It is very simple. We have connected the 5 volt and ground to the VCC and ground pin of the module and we have connected the digital out pin to digital pin number 2 of the Arduino and the analog out pin to the analog input 0 of the Arduino. This is the circuit diagram. Now we will have a look at the Arduino sketch and then we will see the practical demonstration. This is the Arduino sketch that we are going to use for this demonstration. Here we have declared a few variables. Variable LED for pin number 13, for the LED pin, digital pin, pin number 2, analog pin, pin A0, digital value that will be read from the digital pin of the module and analog value that will be the output of the analog pin of the module. Now in the setup section we have declared the pin types, LED pin as output and digital pin as input. We have started the serial communication at a baud rate 9600. Then in the loop section, we have read the value of the digital pin. Here is something very important that the module is an active low module. That means in presence of the signal, the output is low and when there is no infrared light or no fire, the output will be high. So we have reversed the function of this input. When the digital value or the digital input is high, we have turned off the LED and when the input is low, that means the fire is detected, the LED input is high. And we have also read the analog pin and the analog value is printed in the serial monitor. The analog value also is in the inverse mode. That means when the infrared signal is high, the analog value is low and when there is no infrared signal, the analog value is very high. So we have subtracted it from 1023, which is the highest value for the analog input so that we can have the accurate value of the infrared reception. So this is the Arduino sketch. It is very simple. Now we will upload it into the Arduino and we will see the practical demonstration. Here is the prototype of the circuit that we have shown. Since this built-in LED is very small, we have added one LED with the pin number, digital pin number 13 in parallel with the built-in LED via a resistor. So when this built-in LED glows, this LED will also glow. And we have already shown this module to you. This is the fire sensor or infrared photodiode. This is the potentiometer that we have to adjust to adjust the sensitivity. And this is the power on LED and this is the digital out LED. Now since there is no detection of fire, this LED is not glowing. But when there will be fire, it will glow. Now we will show this. First, let us upload the sketch into the Arduino. So we are uploading this. 
program uploaded now we are making the screen half and half just to show the analog value we are turning on the serial monitor since there is no reception of fire now the value of the analog pin is very low actually the value is very high but we have inversed it so that it shows low during the time of no fire detection now we will bring a source of fire and see what happens we are moving it a little now we have a source of fire see when we are bringing it closer this led started glowing and this led here also started glowing and when i bring it away from the sensor this will turn off i am bringing it closer it's detecting uh, you can also see when i bring it closer to the sensor the analog value also increasing the more i bring it close to this the more the analog value will increase now let us check the sensitivity i am turning it completely anti clockwise so that it is the least sensitive now now bringing it even closer to this the module does not work we are increasing the sensitivity a little now bringing it closer my camera is focusing the breadboard so this module is getting a little hazy but i hope you can understand this so i am taking it away and at about 1 ft distance it turned off and as i said the detection angle is about 60 degree and since the fire is more than 60 degree angle this is not detecting but if i turn it towards the fire this will detect the fire see it is now it is now working i am decrease increasing the distance at about 1 ft it is not detecting the fire now if we increase the sensitivity even more let me take the fire away and increase it at the most until the green led turns on so here the green led turns on we are keeping it a little less than this now the sensitivity of this module will be even more we have taken it almost about 2 ft distance then this module is unable to detect the fire and as we have increased the sensitivity now this is detecting even more than 60 degree angle i am taking it away but still it working it's almost my camera even cannot catch the distance so this module is working properly i blew off the candle and the module stopped it output signal so this led turned off so today up to this i hope you have clearly understood about this flame detection module still if you have any query or any question or any confusion please feel free to ask me in the comments i'll definitely answer your questions and if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel rg innovations we will meet again in the next video till then bye bye take care have a nice time thank you for watching